coming up on Torrance today. It's the last week to buy your Christmas tree at a couple of the city's most popular tree lots. Santa Claus continues to make his way through our neighborhood parks. Find out where he'll be tonight. And what happens when a local brewery and a hometown band collaborate? We'll give you a taste. All this and more coming up right now on Torrance Today. Welcome to Torrance Today. I'm Christine Lee. It's 4 p.m. on Tuesday, December 13th. I hope you're staying warm and healthy. Thank you so much for joining us. Here's our first story. A couple of local Christmas tree lots benefiting great causes are selling the last of their trees this week. We've been doing this for 37 years. Um, it's just selling trees to the community to support the band. Everything here is operated um, by the students and volunteers, the parent volunteers. A lot of the money goes to either equipment, instruments, um, uh, anything that really the band is, uh, is looking to uh, fulfill. We have a lot of equipment that we need to purchase, transportation to like go to competitions and things like that. And a lot of the extra stuff that we're doing this year is going towards sending our students to Disneyland so that we can perform in the parade. We've been running a tree lot in Torrance since uh, the late 1940s, as near as I can find out, maybe early 50s. We've been on this site over 30 years. It's been donated to us by uh, the refinery every year and we set it up each year for selling between 800 and 1,000 trees. Shoppers at the YMCA lot can also purchase aromatic evergreens to decorate other parts of the home, and all proceeds directly support YMCA programs. It is open from noon to 8 p.m. through Friday the 16th or until supplies last at the corner of Madrona Avenue and Del Amo Boulevard. And over at the West High Lot, expect live music, baked goods, and hot chocolate too. That location is open weekdays from 3.30 to 9 p.m. and on Saturday from 9 to 9. It's located just across the street from West High in the parking lot. Well, Christmas trees need presents and Torrance Transit delivered this year. It sent buses and volunteers to the 30th annual Spark of Love Toy Drive, the largest community toy drive in the nation. Torrance Transit traditionally hosts a stuff a bus event in town, but this time the need was greater and so five buses went over to Cerritos for a larger scale event. All donations got taken to warehouses where they got sanitized, sorted, and distributed across five Southern California counties. Torrance Transit workers say they had a wonderful time filling the 40-foot buses with gifts for families to enjoy. And speaking of Torrance Transit, if you rely on our buses to get around, remember that there's a special holiday schedule. City buses will not run on Christmas Day, Sunday, December 25th, or on New Year's Day, Sunday, January 1st. But they will be operating on both Christmas Eve, December 24th, and New Year's Eve, December 31st. Torrance Transit needs great drivers. A staffing shortage led to service delays all year, so it's the perfect opportunity to consider a change in careers. If you have a good driving record, are looking for great benefits, and love helping people, especially in our community, check out transit.torrentca.gov to learn more. Well, this guy doesn't ride a bus, but Santa Claus will be back on his sleigh at a park near you. This tradition dates back to 1969, thanks to the Torrance Police Officers Association. This year, Santa will visit a total of 10 locations over 12 days with about 30,000 candy canes. He'll be at De Portola Park tonight from 6 to 8 p.m. and at El Prado Park tomorrow at the same time. Santa has just two more stops after that before he heads back to the North Pole to prepare for the big day. Lots of Torrance businesses are also embracing the holiday spirit and we're capturing some of them to share with you right here. Check out Black Raven, a female-owned small business in the heart of Old Torrance that offers a full vegan tattoo option. Its window display features an incredibly tall and spooky character named 
Krampus. He's known for scaring children who misbehave, but it looks like he can't go too far because he's all chained up. The storefront also has jolly holiday lights enticing those who may be tempted to get the gift of permanent artwork on their bodies. This is the city's first fully licensed tattoo shop. It provides a comfortable setting with talented artists waiting to make artistic dreams come true. Well, do you know another business in town that is decked out for the holidays? Let us know and we just may feature it on future episodes of Torrance Today. District 4 Council Member Sharon Kalani invites residents to a community meeting tonight. It takes place at 4.30 p.m. at the Bartlett Senior Center located at 1318 Cravens Avenue. Council Member Sharon Kalani will be on hand to meet constituents, answer questions, and listen to concerns and comments. District 4 residents are those who live within the borders of Crenshaw Boulevard, West 190th Street, Western Avenue, Walnut Street, Fulmar Avenue and the border of the city of Lomita. Smog City Brewing Company just launched an exciting collaboration with Torrance-based punk rockers Joyce Manor. It is so cool to to find these opportunities to be really proud of the city that we make beer in, the city we live in, the city yeah. we love. And Joyce Manor brought that to our tables. So we're very thankful to them. Barry, Chase, and Matt are super grounded, very cool people, and we're proud they came from this city. The album is 40 Ounces to Fresno, right? And so we all know that the, the whole 40 ounce reference is a reference to like, kind of cheap, really like, you know, beer that, more malt liquor that people just used to get drunk. So we're like, okay, well, how can we kind of do a riff on that and still be true to craft beer but also like, you know, play with that, that reference. Yeah, that cheekiness. Pretty cheeky. We made a lighter uh, German style lager, but you know, it's, it's traditional, it's full flavored. Um, it's got this beautiful uh, herbal uh, hop quality and just, just enough malt character. Um, but it just, you know, it's super drinkable. And you know, like we're not here to like get drunk on it, but you know, it's uh, it goes down, you know, like a 40 super ounce smooth. beer. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> super, super smooth. smooth. The beer is great. It's simple and it's crisp and refreshing. And it's um, with this type of beer, you can't um, really hide behind a ton of hops. So you need to do everything properly. And I like to think that that relates to our music in that it's fairly straightforward and raw. So it's kind of hard to hide the imperfections. I, I think in that way that they're kind of similar. Joyce Manor is an American punk rock band that began right here in Torrance back in 2008. So far, the group released six studio albums and will headline a show on Saturday, January 7th at the Long Beach Arena. The band teamed up with a local brewery to create the special beer called 40 Ounces to Torrance, playing off its latest album, 40 Ounces to Fresno, which was released earlier this year. The German-style brew has a 4.8% alcohol content it's sold at all Smog City tap rooms as well as at neighboring bars, restaurants, and even online. You can also have the lager delivered straight to your home. Just go to smogcitybrewing.com. Our local hospitals are recognized yet again for their excellence in health care. U.S. World and News Report named both Torrance Memorial Medical Center and Providence Little Company of Mary Medical Center as two of the best hospitals in California for maternal care. The hospitals were just two out of 48 in the state that received the high performing designation. That's the highest a hospital can receive for maternity care. The rankings are based on many factors including rates related to C-sections and lower risk pregnancies and newborn complications. And new this year, hospitals were also noted for meeting recently implemented federal criteria for birthing friendly practices, as well as their ability to track and report outcomes for patients of different races and ethnicities. Congratulations to both hospitals for taking such excellent care of our moms and babies. Well, there's another place in Torrance that's made it onto a prestigious list. Madre in Old Town was ranked number 98 on the LA Times list of 101 best restaurants for 2022. The iconic and highly anticipated list is curated by LA Times food critic Bill Addison. Madre is a traditional 
Oaxacan restaurant specializing in regional dishes such as mole negro and a staggering selection of mezcal. Madre is located at 1261 Cabrillo Avenue and is open seven days a week. It offers a Taco Tuesday menu, perfect for today, or a special mezcal blind tasting that begins at 7 p.m. on Thursday. Still ahead on this Tribute Tuesday, new Fire Chief David Dumay celebrates his special moment with his mother by his side when we come back in 60 seconds. Listen, all it took was someone who would insist that I just try. Suddenly everything was turned around because they judge you. You tell them, I don't need this. No one is going to understand. Unless they've been through it, how can they? Then one day you realize... You feel so hopeless. I need help. I need help. You feel so hopeless. Then one day you realize... Unless they've been through it, how can they understand? I don't need this. No one's going to judge you. Suddenly everything was turned around because they insist that I just try. All it took was someone who would just... Listen. At the end of every episode of Torrance Today, we want to leave you with a positive story that fits the theme for the day. On this Tribute Tuesday, we'd like to take you back to last week's City Council meeting when the city announced its newest fire chief. Congratulations, Chief, and thank you, Mayor and Council. Thank you. Now I'd like to invite a very special guest, Chief Dumay's mother, Gloria Dumay, a 57-year-old resident of Torrance, to come and place the pin and take a photo with Chief at the podium. There you go. Thank you. Uh, having been associated with Torrance for most of my life, I'm aware of the high expectations and trust that the community holds our public service agencies accountable to. Both fire department and the police department stand together to provide safety and security at the highest level possible with integrity and pride. I'm also grateful for this opportunity to serve in this new capacity, but also grateful to, for the support of the city, the city councils, past and present, who have provided the fire department the means to perform our mission. I am confident we will adapt to whatever comes our way and find Torrance solutions for issues that affect the city of Torrance. Thank you very much. Chief Dumay brings nearly 40 years of service to the Torrance Fire Department, most recently serving as interim fire chief. The city manager's appointment makes him the 16th fire chief in our city's history. Well, that's our show for today. Let us know if you have a positive story to tell by emailing us at torrancetoday at torrancea.gov. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from and for our Torrance community. Have a great day.